What's up everyone? It's Ryan, living in Cambodia, making videos so you can see what it's like to live in the Kingdom of Wonder. And I am about to walk into the Aeon 3. The Aeon Mien Chai. As we sit right now, it is the biggest mall in all of Cambodia. And today is the soft opening. It actually opened its doors for the first time to the public about an hour ago. So we're gonna go check it out, do a walk around. We'll see what it's like. There's some cool spots in here. This is supposed to be one of the biggest parks in the whole city, right inside the mall. People are excited. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's, just, let's go have a look. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 Ooh, that wind coming through here. Look at that. So this is the third Aeon Mall in Cambodia. First one is, it's like downtown, right downtown. And the second one is up in the um, Sensok area. So it looks like they're getting a decathlon, which is a European store. Honan Japan Home Center is a pretty decent store. But again, all that is coming soon. The official opening isn't scheduled until early next year, 2023. So almost $290 million were invested to get this puppy going. It is huge. It's 17.4 hectare plot of land, 180,000 square meters of floor space, which does make it the largest mall in Cambodia. Travel hub, little luggage section chill out zone and amazing Cambodia that's cool bit of a souvenir type shop but they got some cool stuff in there oh, look at this look at that ceiling so I read about these screens they're saying it's a state-of-the-art 2D and 3D digital signage. I don't think that kid liked it. <laughs> the little girl got scared. Oh, look at that. Glass floor. It's actually pretty impressive. I don't know how it works, but it does seem like a little a little 3D, at least in person here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but... I think this is actually an elevator on the other side. Tiny lights. That's interesting. I do like the uh, design of it and how it's white, nice and clean looking. I don't know how to describe it, but kind of cool. Man, that is a big, big screen. So Timberland store, guest is coming soon. There's going to be a lot of high-end stores in this mall, I imagine. There's enough space here for 250 stores. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stores. Now, I, I don't know if it's going to fill out. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, I want to say. You see on the way in, there's just like some swamp kind of land. Uh, I guess it's a lake, uh, but it's probably like a lake that dries up in the dry season. We're approximately eight kilometers south of the city center. Other than like the Killing Fields, which are a pretty big tourist attraction here, there's not much else down here. But their hope is that they're gonna attract more people to this area. They wanna attract international companies, businesses, and like condos. Like it's inevitable that the city's gonna expand way out here. 
and they're actually building the new airport not too far from here which that should be done next year so lots and lots of progression going on here in Phnom Penh or whether it's like a positive thing or a negative thing I mean you got to leave that up to the people the Cambodians that is and I think generally the the consensus is that it's a positive thing people are excited about it oh we got food courts reward kitchen cake and sweet juice and fruit it's gonna move you inside there is the supermarket i think it's just called the aeon supermarket or something like that i'll take a quick look inside oh power cut uh-oh that's uh one thing that i read that they were kind of struggling to deal with is the amount of power this place is going to generate and it, uh, it's a lot oh they got an announcement hey pretty big grocery store for cambodia for sure Go through all the grocery store. Oh, they got a home cordry or whatever it's called. It's a good spot for kitchen supplies. Supposedly, this is gonna be the best spot to buy makeup. They're gonna, uh, you know, like let you sample it, give you uh, tutorials and stuff. I don't know. I don't buy makeup, but okay. Let's head upstairs and. Uh, see what we got on the second level oh, that's a big Daiso Daiso is like a dollar store in Japan I think it's a two dollar store actually dollar ninety for everything we've been to Daiso's all over Asia because they're just a good spot to pick up cheap items and watch the screen not that you're gonna see much that you want to look at probably so I did a little bit of research did some calculations found some averages crunched some numbers and I uh, I determined that the cost to rent one of these retail spaces is about $27 per square meter for high-end re retail space in Phnom Penh right now that's what it's going for so I'm assuming this is about the same Quite a few more stores up on the second floor, which I think is probably for less higher end stores like Skechers and One Degree Beyond. What the heck is going on over here? What's that all about? What is this? Screens on that escalator ceiling. <laughs> what kind of noise is if it's coming? Oh, it's supposed to be dolphins. This area here is directly above the supermarket and this would be like the Aeon's department store. Big huge space. Lots and lots to buy. Okay we're gonna head up to the second floor. So you have light, uh, glass light thing. Oh there's a hype crew. It's a hype crew! Over there, they got a prayer room. It's interesting. And here's Master Suki Soup. You gotta have a Master Suki on the Facebook page for this small. 
there was like, oh, the big 30% off sale, come on and check it out. And the first comment was, there is the Master Suki Soup going to be 30% off. Something smells good. Oh, it's DQ, Dairy Queen. The waffle cones, freshly cooked. Damn. Got Carl's Jr. coming soon. So here's that uh, glass floor right above me here. Let's see if we can look up some skirts. No, I'm just joking. Oh, wow, look at this slide. That's fun. Oh, here comes the good. She's shoot right out of that thing. <laughs> that was a shoe. Whoa. Yeah, she loved it. It's cute. So this is all restaurant area. But you can probably get a pretty good view of the surrounding area. Oh, I got dots in front of the window. I can't see through it. It's quite beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but there's lots of water around here. A big kind of wet area. I guess you could call it a lake. As well as over there, there's one. We've got a Starbucks down there. This area was all that. It was like too swampy to build on for the longest time. But then they talked to somebody from Singapore who did it. Singapore is basically built in swamplands. And they figured out the best way to do it and started packing in some of the waters. It's a bit of a concern because of uh, the flooding during the rainy season. Like, you know, that's where the water goes. You gotta have a place to put all that extra water. So, I don't know, I'm sure they figured it all out. Fingers crossed. This noodle place looks bomb. Back to the Grand Plaza area. So I guess the department store is only on that one floor. We got Aeon Grocery, Aeon Department Store. And then uh, more food, maybe? I don't know. Let's go look. Uh, this is the arcade and the cinema are over here. So kids park, throw your kids in there. Oh, look at this guy. He goes up like an avatar character. That's cool. There's one game that catches my eye over there. Jurassic Park, the arcade game. Yeah, blow those dinosaurs up. Oh shit, that's a T-Rex. Yeah. I love the grab claw games. Kung Fu Kitchen coming soon. That's important. Sichuan food. And all arrows seem to be pointing to Kong San Park, which we're gonna go check out now. There we are. I don't know what these are. Just fake hills. Is it bouncy? Oh yeah, bouncy. Almost like a bouncy castle. Ooh. This guy's gonna go in. Hello. 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 Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Ooh, ooh, that's hard. <laughs> I thought that would be bouncy. That is just hard. I guess it's for sitting on. So you can go into this, climb in. There's another hole over there. And you go net climbing. Actually pretty nice up here if you're in the shade. You got a uh, rock climb the wall. This guy's going for a swing. 
kids are loving this. This is exactly what they need in Phnom Penh. A place where kids can come and just like a play park. This one is pretty cool. Hello. Oh, for swinging, I see. Hello. Just sit on? Only kids. Only kids. Maybe uh like her. maybe can can play just a program. Yeah. It's okay for me to walk around? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. You can Yeah, I would like to see. Oh, watch out. <laughs> watch out for her. Oh. Sand Park with the uh, fountain. see some puke one day. Okay. Alright, we are on the top floor, uh, third floor I guess. Looks like there's like a running track here, that's kind of fun. Big open space. We gotta go check out that glass floor. I figured an hour walk through the whole thing, but it's been close to two hours, I would say. Uh, and all I've done is walk. I haven't even shopped. Well, I spent maybe 15, no, 10 minutes in a store. I'm trying to get uh, an adapter because I am headed to Germany tonight. Uh, that, yeah, so I've got to rush home and pack my bags. We're going to go to Germany for Christmas this year. She's going to go and meet my mom. She's uh, from Canada. She lives in Canada. so. It's kind of kind of halfway between the two and we'll spend a couple weeks traveling around Germany to Christmas markets and all that stuff so so that'll be a lot of fun and then once she leaves after the two weeks we're gonna go further south to go down to Italy it's gonna be a good Christmas vacation a little bit of Europe um, it's been a while since we've been in Europe all right here we are this is the glass floor the sky bridge I used to actually work on the glass floor in Toronto at the CN Tower so this is not all that scary to me, especially because they have this safety netting through it. But it's still kind of cool. I'm sure people are enjoying it. And that's all. That's the Aeon 3, the Aeon Mian Chai. Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, make sure you take care, you comb your hair. Merry Christmas. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the home mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, oh, that's expensive. I